Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity uh, skills integration challenge. Here we can see our addressing table, uh, device interface, and its IP address and submit to mask. Also, we will uh, go through the objectives of this packet tracer activity. Uh, configure host names and IP addresses on two Cisco intranetworking operas, operating system switches using the command line interface. Use Cisco IOS commands to specify or limit access to the device configurations. Use IOS commands to save the running configuration. Configure two host devices with IP addresses and verify connectivity between the two PC entity devices. Here is our scenario of this packet tracer activity. We will uh, go through this. As a recently hired LAN technician, your network manager has asked you to de demonstrate your ability to configure a small LAN. Your tasks include configuring initial settings on two switches using the Cisco IOS and configuring IP address parameters on host devices to provide end-to-end -end connectivity. You are to use two switches and two hosts, I mean PCs, on a cabled and powered network. We will go through the requirements. Use a console connection to access each switch, name class A and class B switches. Use the 8UB caps R U password for all lines, that's for console and VTY. Use the C9W small r e secret password. Encrypt all clear text passwords. Include the word warning in the message of the day banner. Configure addressing for all devices according to the addressing table. Save your configurations and verify connectivity between all devices. Also, they given a note here. We will go through that. Uh, click check results to see your progress. Click reset activity to generate a new set of requirements. If you click on this before you complete the activity, all configurations will be lost. Right, this is just a note. First of all, we will uh, use a console connection uh, to these uh, switches. So here is our console cable from this class A console port to this R232 and the system is 210 to 1. Also from uh, the switch class B to its console port to this uh, PC student 2, it's RS232. Coming to the class A switch, we will uh, set the host name uh, for these two switches first. Coming to student, desktop, terminal, we'll keep as default uh, as this port configuration. Right. Enable configure terminal. Here we are going to set the host name. Here we can see the host name as a class A. Exactly. So it's case sensitive for scoring in this packet tracer activity. Hyphen A. Right. Now we will set uh, in this uh, switch uh, class B. Enable configure terminal host name as class B. Right now, we will set a password for all lines. Uh, we will do it on this uh, switch class A. Coming to this PC, yes, we are accessing class A switch. So, we are going to set the line passwords. So, I will uh, copy this uh, password. right we have to go to line console 0 and we are going to set the password here is the password and login now we will set for line vty 0 to 15 password here it is and login Coming to the switch class B, line console 0, password, here it is, login, 
now we will set for a vty line vty 0 to 15 password we already copied yes here it is and login now we will configure a secret password coming to a class a switch configure terminal here we are going to enable secret and here is the password now we will do it on uh, uh, class b switch configure terminal enable secret password next we are going to encrypt all clear text passwords so coming to class a switch so we have service password encryption and coming to class b service password encryption next we are going to include uh, a MOTD banner as warning coming to class a switch banner MOTD and the delimiter the message is a warning right now we will do it on class B switch banner MOTD warning now we will configure addressing for all uh, devices uh, the, uh, that means for these two switches and these two PCs uh, according to the addressing table uh, given here so first of all we will set for the VLAN 1 uh, on the device class A here we can see the IP address so we have to go to that interface vlan 1 interface vlan 1 and we are going to set the ip address so here it is and the submit to mask 255.255.255.0 and to no shut command coming to class b switch interface vlan 1 IP address oh, here it is and the submit to mask 255 .255 and the no shut command now we will uh, save the configuration uh, on both switches copy running to startup coming to class B switch copy running config to startup config now we are going to set the IP address for this PC student to one here is the address coming to student to one IP configuration and the submit to mask is 255.255.255.0 and coming to student 2 here we can see the IP address it's 5.60 and the submit to mask is 255.255.255.0 now we are going to verify the connectivity uh, we are going to ping from this uh, student 1 to student 2 yes we are getting the replay yes that's all in this packet tracer activity uh, skills integration challenge here we can see the completion status 90 out of 90 
here uh, when we open uh, we may get uh, some other addressing table uh, with different device names and IP address and the requirements will be the same but here we can see uh, the passwords and its name may change so here we can see that I am going to reset this activity okay right so next time we will see what we are going to get here we got the same once more we'll try here we can see the trusting table now uh, the device names changed also we can see uh, IP address also here we can see the requirements password also changed we'll try with uh, other one reset activity yes here we can see it's again room 145 device name you can see it changed IP address also changed uh, here we can see only the passwords of uh, uh, lines and secret password changed all other requirements are same we have to uh, configure according to the addressing table and according to our requirements well friends if you have any doubt uh, please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into our gmail thank you